So if you've been stuck in your business and you feel like you are spinning your wheels, you cannot break through this crazy ceiling and you always try to find this business problem to solve, then this video is going to help you clarify why that is not the case and what to actually do instead, right? And it goes and it goes down to pretty much uh, my own experience, right? My personal experience when I started my agency as well as my coaching business. And here is what was happening, right? So I thought that the reason I'm stuck with my business was because I didn't have the right strategy, the right sales method, or the right outreach script or whatever that might have been. I always thought that there is a better way to do this, right? I always thought that there is a better way to you know, a better platform, a better script, uh, whatever that might be. So I was overthinking everything and never taking enough action. So instead of working, I spent hours on YouTube, consuming free trainings that I found on Twitter or, you know, any lead magnets that I could find at that time. And pretty much I had a crazy shiny object syndrome. And I was trying to figure it out, um, the problem, and why am I not getting anywhere and not as fast as I would like to get to with my business, right? But then um, I was really frustrated because that overthinking loop and that, um, you know, not taking action, but instead of consuming everything all the time, made me feel more overwhelmed and more frustrated. And then I said, uh, you know, I sat down one, one evening and I was like, okay, let's just really think about this and let's really, really solve this problem because um, it's been bugging me for a while now, right? So I realized that the problem were actually these three things, right? Volume, attitude, and my beliefs. And all of these create identity. But about that, I'm going to touch as we go later on, as we you know go throughout the video. But essentially, these three were my main issues. There were no outreach problem, nothing, no content problem, no platform problem. It were all these three things that made me stuck. So let's cover the first one, volume. Right. So I was simply not doing enough. I thought I was doing enough outreach content, enough of everything, but I wasn't. Right. And this is something that 90% if 90% of the people who are stuck, if they just done volume, volume pretty much, or 80% of them, they already hit their goals. Right. Because we delude ourselves that if we do this small amount, we're good. Right? But it all depends on where you're at in your business, right? But also, if you do more, if you do more output, input, if you put more input, you will get more output, right? So that was my mistake when I started my business, right? And in the world of business, numbers are everything, not emotions. You cannot look at your emotions and how you feel about certain things, right? How you feel about the prospect, how you feel about the particular script. You need to leave, leave those emotions at the door and focus on the raw numbers and data that you have. So what I've done in my case, I broke down the numbers I was currently doing of everything and I realized I need to at least double them, right? So instead of, I don't know, uh, 25 messages, I need to send 50. Instead of sending 20 emails, I need to send 40 at least, right? And I did the math of how much of everything I need to do to get to my goal. I reverse engineered the goal and it came to a clear number and a KPI to follow every single day, right? And it's something you should do as well. So do the math and then create a KPI out of it. And something that you can do every single day that is manageable, that you don't, you don't burn yourself out, but you're not like uh, complacent and uncomfortable, right? You find, you need to find that sweet spot in the middle. So, Again, if you're struggling to see results, look at the numbers. Are you sending 10 messages or cold emails expecting to make a lot of money, book more meetings and get more clients? Are you posting one content a week hoping to get inbound leads? Review your numbers, review your CRM and see what you can improve. And the most common thing I see among entrepreneurs that, again, they don't do enough. And that's simply because of their mindset holding them back, because they have some limiting beliefs about themselves, about the niche, about their prospect. And the second thing that these people are held back by are also their attitudes, fears, as well as their own performance. Right. So they cannot sit behind the desk. They cannot focus for uh, 50 minutes. Um, they cannot, you know, they don't have any energy to put into their business because they don't have a good sleeping regime. Um, their diet is really poor and exercise. And yeah, it's simply, it's crazy how much your mindset and your own performance as a person um, does to the business, right? So that's why it's really important to make sure that you look at those first, then you look at the numbers and then you execute, right? 
So that was the first thing, volume. Let's take a look at the second thing, which was my attitude was holding me back. Right? And what I mean by attitude is I'm going to explain it, but I want to give you, you know, a little back, backstory is that when I was in the process of growing a business, um, I, ha I struggled to see instant results, right? Because when you grow your business, you don't see immediate results. You're seeking that dopamine hit, that instant gratification, but you don't see it because that's just not how growth works. Growth works in kind of a hockey stick effect. So you go like this and, you know, it's plateau for a moment and then, you know, you skyrocket your growth. And that's how success happens. At the beginning, we don't have that, especially beginning entrepreneurs or even entrepreneurs that progress a little, like they're around 10K, 20K a month, they still will have that hockey stick effect if they keep going, right? But most of the people, they give up instantly, right? Uh, and that's because they cannot keep up and hold up their attitude, positive attitude. Now, I don't mean to be a positive junkie or <laughs> any type of thing, but um, it's usually it's just about believing in yourself and in their journey and having faith that it's going to happen for you, right? Regardless of the, of the obstacles that you're facing, you know, or the plateau. Just having the positive attitude, the attitude of hope and knowing that you are going to get there can do a lot, like... Trust me, it, it changed my life whenever I changed my attitude. And you can do the same for yourself once you do this little, little shift, right? So um, usually what people do uh, when bad things happen and uh, when things are not going as fast as they would like to or they predict it to, they start to doubt the process, question it, force it, and simply attach negative emotions to it. And that creates a negativity attitude that actually postpones and separates that person from their goal even further, right? Um, and that pretty much, yeah, postpones their goals from actually happening. And yeah, when I was stuck, I realized that I was doing that every single day. I was attached to my negative emotions. I doubted the process. I doubted myself as a person. And that's why I was never seeing anything, right? And subconsciously, I had all of these thoughts and emotions that, look, it may not work out. This is useless. Let me try a different niche. Let me try a different business, you know, shiny object syndrome. Uh, and I subconsciously held to these emotions, right? So I changed my attitude as well as my coordination. And I started to see every situation as a good situation, as a situation that helps me progress, right? So I was saying to myself that this is supposed to be happening. This is part of the journey. This is just temporary setback, a temporary inconvenience because I know that I eventually get there, right? Um, and I knew I had the conviction that I'm going to make those goals a reality without a doubt very soon or in a couple of months. Uh, but I was not attached to a goal or a deadline or a time, right? So analyze your attitude and really see how do you view yourself? How do you view your current situation? How do you view the things that are happening around you, right? So that's the action step for you. And also, just forgot to mention, you need to look at what you're currently going through from the lens of your future self, right? So put those glasses of your 2.0 self and see the situation as you're in now. See it from the perspective of your 2.0 self, your future self, right? That's really important. And ask yourself, how would they think, feel, and act about the situation? You know, would they doubt it if they knew that they will eventually get to 50K or 100K a month? Would they have negative emotions and be frustrated even though they knew that they will get there eventually? You know, it's all about perspective and attitude at the end of the day, right? And the third thing that really changed everything for me, as I mentioned at the beginning, were my beliefs, right? That's a big one. So just like I mentioned before, what keeps most people stuck are their beliefs they held, hold towards themselves, their business, or a particular activity they have to do. Shifting beliefs is the most important thing to do here. So start letting go of the limiting beliefs that you have and shift into the beliefs you want to have. A belief that the 2.0 version of you already has and embody them every single day, ingrain them in your brain and everything will be easier for you. Every uh, activity, um, your days are going to be, you're going to see life as super faultless, easy and success is going to come to you fast because that's what ha that, that will happen when you shift your beliefs and you start to see the world from a different lens, right? As we talked about uh, before. So... Here's the thing, because if you never change your beliefs, you will always believe that something is true and that something could be that I'm not good enough to run a business. And you, if the more you reinforce it, the more you're going to believe it, right? And 
the thing that's going to happen is that the reality, now this might sound a little woo-woo, but it's pretty much how it works. It's called a mirror principle. And it simply means that whatever you think about, whatever you believe in, will reflect in your current reality, right? So if you believe that you cannot book meetings because of your niche, then guess what? Your Calendly is going to be empty every single week, right? If you believe that you're not a good enough person and you lack confidence and you're just not you know, showing up like this confident version of yourself, then you're not going to close those prospects on a sales call. It's that simple, right? So really think about it. Really think about how your current limiting beliefs are impacting your life because the reason why you are where you are is because of your own mind and the beliefs that you held about yourself and about the business and the whole world in general, right? So... Once I changed my beliefs around around outreach, around myself, around my business, everything clicked for me and I started to see traction, I started to see results. Okay, so and that leads me to the last point. What these three things have in common? You know, you, volume, your beliefs and attitude. What do they have in common? And that's the fact they create an identity, right? An identity that is a current driver of your action. So to change your situation, see the business growth, and live the life of your dreams, have time, location, and financial freedom that you want, or whatever that may be that you want for yourself, you need to become that person who puts in the work, has that godlike levels of focus and output every single day, and always increases the volume, right? Because the more you do, the luckier you will get, right? So you need to become that person who is able to sit behind your desk for a couple of hours and do incredible amounts of volume right? Messages, emails, content, whatever that might be for you, you need to become the person who can do that, right? Also, you need to become the person who has their attitude up during tough times and has a bulletproof conviction in themselves and in their goals. If you want to reach your goals, you cannot operate from a place of, you know, low conviction, if not zero conviction, you cannot let those setbacks affect you because you will slow down your growth, right? So that's really important. No matter what's going on, try to find one thing or two things that are actually going well. And if those things are not going well, then find some sort of a, uh, a positive meaning to them. Like, how can you learn from the situation? If you, if you didn't close three sales calls in a row and you really wanted to close them, then really analyze what was happening and make sure that you learn from those mistakes. And see it as a positive thing. See it as a thing that, okay, I didn't close these three clients, but I've learned how to do it better next time. I've noticed that I didn't say this, or I've noticed that I said that, that I shouldn't have said. You know, so the faster you fail, the better you'll get. And when you fail, you cannot have this perception of, okay, failing is bad. You need to see failure as a good thing, as a fuel towards your goals, right? And lastly, you need to become the person who has who has beliefs that are actually helping them grow and not the other way around. If you want to really unchain yourself and become super successful in the fastest way possible, then change your beliefs. Change your thoughts and beliefs about yourself, about your business, and start believing in things you want to believe. Right? Start to believe that there are actually people out there that need your service. You know, If you struggle with believing that, find proof. Find your competitors. Look at them. Look at the fact that they are actually signing clients in your same niche, so you can too. Right? When I was starting my business, I had doubt. Like, can that, that does someone want like peak performance coaching or mindset coaching? It's not like a business or marketing coaching. And I had doubts. Right? Then I look at other people doing, it and I was like, okay, this is working. They're signing clients. Clients are getting results, and they continue doing that every single week, every single month. So I can too. You know, just find the proof in your life of what you want and find someone else doing it. Or look at yourself from the past. You've done it before. If you sign one client, you can sign another one. So that's your belief. If your belief is that I cannot sign clients, then look at the past experience or look at someone else doing what you want to do, right? And operate from that state. So you need to become that version of yourself right now to actually see things happening for you. So that's really important. So to make sure that you get out of that route and you pretty much start to see the results and the life you want to see. So you need to become the two-point version of yourself right at this second. And you always need to uh, think, feel, and act like that person. Or at least try as your hardest to do that every single day. You know? Or else, if you don't do anything that we just discussed in this video, then you're going to end up stuck, you know? And there is 
no outreach hack or sales hack or marketing hack that will help you get out of that situation because you are a driver of a business and if you are blocked then your business is going to be blocked and that's a guaranteed way to fail right so i hope this video gave you a better understanding of what could be holding you back or what could pretty much contribute in you being stuck in the situation where you are with your business and with your life and if that was the case then definitely give this video a like subscribe and you can find more videos on my channel about identity shifting belief shifting um, and pretty much most of the things that i just discussed in more detail so if you want to check them out you can always find them on my channel and uh, yeah thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one